I am here with BD Wolf, the musician. Uh, we are going to talk about music, but the first thing is actually this jacket, which looks great. Yes. But actually, <laughs> that's not the only thing about it. It actually has a tech connection as well, since people can actually download your single from the jacket. It's a musical jacket in actually two capacities. Um, so what you see sort of represented, um, woven into the fabric, is the live single. This kind of wonderful synthesis between you know, technology, music, history, um, fashion and, and textiles all sort of woven together. So I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Um, so essentially you tap the jacket, mm -hmm. then accept, and then what you come to is the page which sort of tells the story of this, this wonderful garment. You can play the song, you can read the lyrics. It really tells the story of you know, where and how this was made. We recorded in the former home and sort of secret studio of Hendrix, McCartney, Ringo, uh, Lennon. This place called 34 Montague Square. The room that we recorded um, this single in was the same room where Hendrix wrote The Wing Close Mary, where uh, McCartney wrote Eleanor Rigby. So I just love the idea of almost capturing you know, the history and the resonance um, and the story of that room and turning it into a fabric. Um, which was done by this wonderful textiles artist called Beatwoven. The jacket was designed by a tailor called Mr. Fish, who lives at 34 Montague Square. Um, and he dressed Jagger, Hendrix, Bowie in the 1960s. So this is actually the first bespoke piece of fashion that he's cut since that period. So he was really, he was really excited about almost bringing in all those influences, both of 34 Montague Square and the people that he used to, to dress. Mm -hmm. So that's actually not the only technology that you are bringing with you. You also have this um, deck of your album. Yes, this is actually the, the world's first um, NFC album deck. You open it up and voila, the entire album as a deck of cards. <laughs> so when you tap that you know, onto a device, you're able to read the liner notes. Each individual track has its own card with the lyrics, the artwork associated with that song. And the lovely thing about this is the content is so fluid. You listen to it as an album. You know, you create that time in your day to sort of make a ceremony around it. And I just wanted to bring back, you know, or, or sort of revive the best of that tangibility, that storytelling, and that sort of sense of ceremony that I experienced as a kid but make people that were, you know, streaming and, and downloading from iTunes and all of that, make them actually really want to engage with it. 